Hello. Um, it's been quite a while uh, since last video, so um, what I just wanted to do is update um, as to where <coughs> I am. As we enter into a second English UK lockdown, certainly in England, we've just started the second one. Um, so we're in early November. Um, a lot's gone on this year. Um, it's been probably one of the worst years I've ever experienced personally, and I'm sure a lot of people out there um, have their own stories uh, and issues and difficulties that have arisen from COVID. Um, from my point of view, uh, being self-employed has been very difficult. Um, and on a more personal note, we've had a, few, a couple of deaths in the family, uh, which have... Uh, we, we've worked our way, and we're working our way through them, but um, on top of everything else, lack of business, lack of social cohesion, and of course the added spectacle that is the uh, US uh, elections that uh, I'm watching as as we as I record now, um, that is just uh, what a what a rubbish what a crap system that is. Um, it was always going to be full of holes, mail-in ballots. Um, so many questions being asked and I think legitimately for either side um, if one side has the ability to be able to corrupt um, voting ballots then the other side will do it as well so they need to get that sorted out that's just an awful system anyway back to the um, <coughs> uh, the updates um, good news is that um, I managed to, uh, late October, uh, release the um, my electronic music only album, uh, Sunrises as Concrete Sets. Um, that's now been distributed, is available uh, as um, streaming or download. And it's also the first time that I decided to master it myself, added a few pieces of software um, and that, I, I think I'm pleased with it. I, I know it's not perfect but um, wow it's, it's so so much better than I could have done maybe four years ago even um, just with the help of actually YouTube and people giving advice um, and also the way I think that the loudness war is is largely coming to an end. Uh, for those who don't know anything about it, just do a search for loudness war on YouTube, and you'll you'll find out that basically what it was 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 just um, <clears throat> the material that was being released professionally. Um, it was it was asked of mastering studios forever to make it louder and louder than the previous than the previous uh, or, or your your peers um, that were also releasing their work it was to make it louder and louder and louder and of course what you're getting is uh, a compression and a limiting factor just to try and push up um, your volume make your single louder than the one that came previously or the one after um, which is a a fool's errand. It was always going to come to a head, and it did. And um, through a, a, a actually a very interesting means, which was that the uh, the streaming services like Spotify, um, Amazon, Apple Music, uh, they found that um, they were having to uh, limit or use software on their servers to equalize all the volumes of the different, differently produced music um, so that 
you didn't have to keep on turning a track down or turning a track up because they were variances in their um, final uh, overall volume. So there was a, a an agreement that was, that was basically that uh, um, streaming services would have a requirement, and if your music was too loud, they'd turn it down, and if it wasn't loud enough, then their systems would automatically turn it up. That that meant that uh, you would find yourself possibly with a track that was being squashed and lost its dynamics through the software being used on. Uh, the various streaming services servers that no control over it, it was just automated so an agreement was made and has come about by using um, there are certain measurements now that we can master and when we're mastering a track we can actually use so you'll typically hear um, that um, uh, TP total peak of a track um, digitally it can't go above zero, so we go minus one is, is what we want for the total peak of a track, and that's a good indicator. And then we've also got a, a number of other parameters, but something called LUFS. LUFS is, is the, the big one of the moment, which is that it's like an, um, it will take an overall volume of a track, and it will give you a number. So, for instance, for Spotify, um, you want to set your LUFS value at something like minus, I believe it's minus 14, minus 14. Now for those of us who are, master, who are now going to master our own tracks because it's cheaper and because the um, apps and the software is getting better, um, we're then in our own door, our digital recording software. Um, it means that we've now got uh, a set of parameters and software that we can throw our master track in and we can make an adjustment, we can make adjustments uh, and we can use limiters and we can use slight compressors and uh, maximizers and, and, and um, we can actually now steer the volume, the overall volume, the master volume of our track to uh, represent better the requirement on all these streaming sites. Now they all have slight variations but of course the rule of thumb really sensibly should be let's not aim for minus 14 and minus 1 just for Spotify and then we'll do another version for Apple because that Apple will be slightly different and then Amazon will have a different requirement. That unfortunately is the case but just err on the side of caution. If you've got a very dynamic track and you want to keep the dynamics you don't want to just push the headroom make it flat and loud, uh, which seems has been of late uh, the fashion, uh, particularly with the style of shit music that's around nowadays. Uh, it doesn't have any dynamics to it whatsoever. Uh, uh, forgive my language, by the way. Um, that's how I feel today. <coughs> um, so yes, if you've got a, a track that's that's quite dy dynamic with peaks and troughs um, actually if you take the middle way of saying well okay Spotify's I'm gonna go for Spotify minus 14 LUFS and then definitely no higher than minus 1 possibly even minus 2 for the for the peak you send that out there um, if it goes out to Amazon or another uh, another streaming service that's slightly different by um, maybe the LUFS will be minus 12 or minus 13. It really doesn't matter because those sort of increments and those little changes um, are not going to drastically alter the dynamics of your track. Assuming you've um, used those guides, one of those guidelines, both of those, particular True Peak and LUFS, we're just talking audio here, I think when it's become, when it's spoken word advertising films there are there have always been um, different parameters there that you would need to follow anyway for broadcast quality so they're still in place but for for for, for me just doing audio uh, the last value and the true peak values are are things that I can actually um, inject into the final master 
um, and know that I'm pretty well there and that I can keep the dynamics and if if the streaming system needs to just bump it up a little bit it can and it won't change the dynamics of my track um, if I'm slight, running slightly hot for their settings then that streaming service can can just turn it down a little bit again I don't lose the dynamics of the track so that's fantastic um, uh, I'm all uh, in favor of that uh, I just wish wouldn't it be ideal if just everyone agreed the same the same numbers but they don't <clears throat> so uh, if in doubt don't don't go too hot if in doubt don't don't we don't want to invoke too much of the sort of compressional limit limiters on other people's servers so go slightly I'd go for me slightly lower I think that's the best best approach just be realistic um, uh, so yeah that's been good. Uh, it, the, there are a few additions to um, plugins that I've used, in particular Fab Filter. Fantastic. Um, I'm now using um, the Fab Filter EQ, Pro EQ, and I'm just about to purchase, I think, unless there's something else that I've missed, um, a uh, the Fab Filter Pro Limiter, Limiter 2 for the mastering side because that gives me a true peak lock where I can I can just lock in minus one and it won't go above um, I can see the transients and I can hear what it's doing just on the limiting side fantastic piece of software and it gives me all the LUFS uh, settings and versions as well for different um, streaming services um, or if I can get them uh, know what the numbers are from the streaming services and dial it in and save it as a, as a custom setting. So uh, a little bit pricey than I would have, I, I guess, wanted to have paid, but um, for what the Fab Filter range does, fantastic. I've been very, very impressed. So anyway, that's, that's allowed me to um, produce the master of this um, latest album. Now, I also made a decision, I put it on a blog on my website, which was that um, I originally was going to release the, um, this electronic album, music only album, under a label, uh, or rather a name, which was Meshed. And um, Meshed would be like an, an alter ego. It, I didn't want it to be Big Blue Car. And I thought about this for, for, for a long while. <clears throat> and I realised that as a DIY music project person, as someone who isn't governed by sales, huge sales of what I produce, and also not being financed by anyone, actually um, I could take the, dif the difficult decision to create, decide to create different style of music under one label, under the Big Blue Car brand if you like. Um, normally you would not want to do that, you would separate your brands because they have very distinct audiences and certainly this latest album might not appeal to people that may have liked to listen to the previous album because it's so different, it's, it's just a different style of music. But I thought, in this day and age of doing everything yourself and being in control, that, that makes sense to do to, to just say no this is me I'm not limiting myself to this piece of music I'm now going to do this um, and as long as you let people know that this album is going to be different um, you have the ability to actually then attract a different crowd and I think that's healthy um, we're so uh, I think and I think quite rightly in many instances where you are when you are commercially uh, successful that that's the kiss of death so if you change the dynamics of what you do the style of what you do you will lose your crowd and that's that's why you don't do it but actually I think um, because so many musicians in particular uh, have are actively engaged in lots of different styles of music I think they should 
experiment with all these different forms and just go out on a limb. Let people know that it's different so they're not shocked by it and also let them know that this is an experiment. That this is, this is not a permanent feature. I'm not suddenly going into disco music. Um, I'm not suddenly um, going to be playing blues from now on. Uh, and all those people who don't like blues sort of go, oh, all right. There are plenty of other music out there, and of course you, that, you, you suddenly lose any interest. So I'm aware of the danger, but I think that um, uh, as, as, a, as a musician who's interested in lots of different styles of music, and as someone who doesn't have to earn a living from this, uh, and is actually unable to earn a living, for a number of reasons. Um, I can afford to do that. I can afford to change and do what I want to do. And if people pick up on it, fantastic. And if people want to support it, brilliant. If people don't like it, well, there's plenty more music out there that you can go to and uh, you, can, you can listen to for free. Um, plenty of other playlists that might sound um, to you better and more in keeping with the, the style of music that you, you prefer to hear. So I think just the freedom that being able to publish your own, your own music, to author it and publish it, that freedom, I don't think it should be um, curtailed by the need to be seen to be consistently marketable. I think it's, it's all about experimentation and at times you'll write something that's really accessible. I've written stuff that I think is really commercial, never going to be out there, it's never going to get seen uh, unless I'm lucky. Um, so much stuff out there that's, that's uh, everyone's doing it. So um, there you go, that, that, that was my point that I think from now on um, Anything that I do will be released under the Big Blue, Blue Car um, name. As indeed it just happened with this latest uh, Electronica album. Um, so it's been done on purpose. Uh, if you want to go and read the sh fairly short blog, I, I'll probably explain it better in, in that way. On the blog a little bit more thoughtful because this is just off the cuff so I apologize there's no script here um, and uh, anyway it's published it's done and dusted and now I can get on with the next Big Blue Car uh, album which is going to be more acoustic the theme and flavor is um, camping in the woods and I still think I'm going to call it um, 10 Campfire Songs and I have the 10 tracks in a rough form. Um, uh, so I think I'm going to go with the album cover that I had originally. Uh, I, I, I can go on all day redesigning covers and I think that one's as good as any actually. So. Um, I've also got another nine or ten tracks, um, just briefly, uh, linked up to the next album, which is more in keeping with um, the Happy Yet uh, Big Blue Car album. It's more of that style, a little bit edgier. Um, and that I think I am going to definitely go with um, Eloy. That's so my Eloy album, and here's an updated cover. I, I like this. Um, I much prefer this. There's something clean about it. Um, I got into this whole loop of how best to show um, a non-human human, how best to show something that was just um, uh, an approximation of uh, of a perfect being that was incredibly flawed, that wasn't real, uh, and I started to look at um, uh, dolls' heads, and, um, and then I got heavily into, oh, 
maybe I should be maybe I, I shouldn't be so gender specific maybe the idea is that not to make them a male or female uh, and then actually maybe I could make it multicolored and um, get into all this awful stuff of, um, of offense because of I'm not proclaiming to be uh, multi-racial enough and all this sort of awful stuff that's going on well I am what I am in the same way that uh, a person writing music in, in uh, uh, Africa is what they are and um, they write music based on their knowledge and who they are and that's absolutely fine I have to write the music based on my history and what I am and I can't pretend to pretend to be anything else um, so I've gone back to um, having something that's very uh, austere and ties in with the original theme of um, uh, the book that Eloy is taken from um, which I've mentioned in a previous video uh, so I've gone back to that science fiction piece of writing and um, this is yeah this is I think the cover I'm going to go with I like it it's nice and clean I quite like the colors I don't think I'm going to change the, the sort of pinky color I think I quite I think I'll stick with that and the pale blue I think that works with against the white so yeah I'm happy with that um, and I think that's it that's it so pop along and have a listen see what you think with the um, sunrises as concrete sets uh, I'd be interested to to hear any comments and thoughts regarding the quality of it and whether or not that completely dumbfounds you as to why I've produced an album like that rather than that's different to the um, to happy yet or, or whether you go, yes, yeah, okay, that's fine, not my sort of music, but it absolutely sits there in what you say it is, that sort of 90s style synth music. Um, so, yeah, comments are welcome. Uh, I, 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 don't worry, I won't be offended. Um, I still will still always do what I think is right for me, but I absolutely um, uh, like hearing feedback from what people think, as long as they're not just there to be... Um, wittily rude um, that's pointless and we can all do that lowest, lowest form of wit and all that but if you do have something that you want to feedback on by all means do that I'm more than happy to read to read those comments um, other than that I will be forging ahead <coughs> as I say we're in November um, I'm going to carry on working with 10 campfire songs uh, a couple of tracks are going to take on a little bit more of a personal feel I think um, I think it's stuff that um, my family still needs to work through, as I say, with recent death in the family um, that came all too soon. Um, but that is life, and we will pick ourselves up, and we will carry on, and we will remember these those people that have gone uh, with affection, as well as with uh, the normal side of no one's good or bad, and. Um, I think that will be that sort of feeling will be certainly injected into Eloy and possibly into a couple of tracks, a campfire song. So get your tissues ready. Um, I don't want to make anything too negative, um, but I think very much as as an artist, uh, we need to utilise these stories and these experiences that we have to try and make our music as authentic as we can. Uh, and that's certainly something that I've set out to do. I don't. I'm not. I'm not interested in all the technical stuff that you can do with music. Um, I just like to make it up as I go along and just force something into shape that makes sense to me. And if other people think it makes sense as well, then that's brilliant. Um, anyway, um, there will be another video on. Uh, I think probably end of this month, December before. Christmas such as that's going to be who knows what Christmas is going to be like this year um, <clears throat> it's all up in the air isn't it really um, 
So anyway, I hope uh, I won't say I hope you're safe. Uh, I just think I hope you're well, um, and that we um, get back to normality. Because I think we need to. I mean, I think we we're all going a little bit Howard Hughes now, aren't we? Uh, <clears throat> and there's a danger of us being scared to do anything um, without the government um, saying it's right to do so. I think I think we need to take our own responsibilities and um, uh, just. Live life as, as as normally as we can. Um, we have to live with these things now. Um, take it on board and take responsibility. Anyway, that's it. Stop ranting. Um, we'll see you in the next one.